Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Unisalus 4 for Odin. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, you know, we're still here. We got 12,000 men right now, and I'm basically Holstein. Uh, provincial unrest. Yeah, the Danish Separatists are going to fire. Like, there's absolutely no question about that. They have 28 unrest, so... I mean, we did lower autonomy, we're trying to convert them. You know, uh, they've been recently conquered. There's a lot of reason for the Danish in this area to not be extremely, extremely happy with me. But I mean, like, we're Danish. They, they shouldn't have a, um, like, what what is it? Are they just Danish separatists? They want independence for Denmark. But, like, we're basically better Denmark, except for, that for the fact that we're Norse. If we weren't Norse, we would just be, like, objectively better Denmark. I mean, look at Denmark right now. It's, what, four provinces big? Like, come on, now. That, that's just embarrassing. So is there any way I can... I mean, we have to get at war with Denmark at some point. And I'm, I'm wondering, is there any way I can easily do that? Like, I don't I don't think so. The, yeah, they're absolutely going to fight. Can 12,000 men handle this? Should I hire a military general? I mean, we have two, you know, two, two, one. That's not actually awful. We'll make our king into a general because I don't feel like there's any reason not to. I mean, if he dies in battle, you'd lose two stability. But I think as long as he's just a general, it doesn't matter. We'll hire an actual general as well. Okay, yeah, um, our heir is objectively, like, the best one. Isn't he, like, 15 years old? No, he's actually 23 now. Oh, we've already been playing for... Ah, oh, don't touch the microphone. We've actually already been playing for almost, like, 10 years. So we got that disastrous coups. We got a bunch of coups, peasants, wars. None of that really matters, and it's not going to affect us, at least right now. Ah, uh, people are... Don't fabricate on my provinces. I really wish we did not start off near the um, near the Holy Roman Empire because it is definitely going to slow down our expansion. I would like to still attack East Frisia, rally to Brunswick and Pomerania. Could we fight Brunswick and Pomerania? I think it's possible. We are at our force limit though. What is Pomerania at? Army Pomerania. Ten thousand men. Brunswick is at. Do, 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 do. They're at six thousand. So there's about like six, twelve. There's like twenty, four, twenty-two thousand men. But the question is, can they even get military access? They're well, they're rivaling these two. So I don't think Pomerania can actually even get at us, other than through a navy. So I think Pomerania is basically we can just kind of ignore. And if we kind of, we could probably maybe even take land off them if we wanted to. Brunswick, I think, might have the, the same issue. We can, we can ally them, but I don't think that would really be uh, beneficial for us right now. And I don't think we can royal marry anybody, right? Because we're different religions. Uh, it'd be dynastic. Yeah, no, we can't because we are a completely different religion. I mean, it would be... I mean, it's kind of nice that we're a different religion because we can have alliances and just break them easily and not have to worry about royal marriages at all. Can I get military access through somebody? We get military access to Friesland. I know it'll put us in too many slots. But we're going to wait for these guys to fire. When they fire... I don't care about East Frisia's opinion. We're about to invade them. But these guys are going to fire. We're going to kill them. Because I don't think Brunswick can get access to us. The rivals are... Who? Verden? Is that even a... Con is, that, is that a new country? Is that not the Bremen flag? Oh, apparently this guy right here, Stade. So you're rivaling him, so they you basically can't get to us. Rivaling Bremen, okay. And Cologne, which is this guy down here. He might be able to get military access to actually get up to our territory, but, you know, that's, he's got to go through, like, three people. So it might be a little bit hard for him to actually do that. So in point eight years. I mean, we can... I know, I want to be on the defenses, so we're just going to stand here, basically. We got some more trading ships. Did we lose all our trading ships? We have like one here. And apparently we also have the most trade right now in Lubeck. That's fantastic. Very, very nice. We got our cogs here. But no, these are our cogs. These are the uh, our galleys. Which we might need to use if uh, Pomerania does anything super, super fishy. Such as, you know, join this war. So Pomerania, how many boats do you have? Palm Rain is at 14 ships, 6 transports, 4 light. Okay, I think we can beat 
The Pomeranian Navy. Oh, wait, we're paused. Can this actually just progress? Like, don't be stuck at 80%. I need you to, like, get to 90. I need you to actually fire. Is there any way I can make them more hostile other than uh, moving my troops? Because I really do not want to do that. Return promise to Denmark. Okay. I don't know why this is a Danish core, but... I think it just starts off as a Danish core just automatically. So this, this, this truce ended in what? Like 10 years from now? 11 years from now. I'm trying to think about what I want to do. I mean, we could try going all the way over here into, like, the Baltics. Is this? Yeah, this is the Baltics. You know, take, like, uh, Riga or something like that. There we go. How do I get reduced? To, how do we lose that many troops already? Are we not paying for soldiers? No, we are. How do we get reduced, like, to 9,000 stacks so, so quickly? I don't really know. Paying a lot of money now to reinforce. That's not good. Lord, no, I don't want to lower fleet maintenance. Missionary maintenance. I kind of just want to keep all that as is. So how much How much does this guy reinforce every single tick? Was that like 50? Yeah, it's going to take a while for us to actually reinforce that then. But I was thinking like if we could get to Riga or, you know, the Teutonic Order. Just somewhere where we're not going to be close to Austria. Or, you know, close to the HRE. Like, I doubt we can actually do anything here. Like, is there any way we can get a CB on Riga? Oh, they're actually allied to a... They're allied to the... Wait, no. They're allied to just the Livonians. I don't care about the Livonians. So we don't join a war against Riga. I mean, that's... That's cool. But is there anything we can really do right now? I think we have a claim on... Oh, no, we don't have a claim on Sky Skane. Why do we not have a... No, fabricated claim there. So we want a claim there, but if I can just get... Is this a... Um... No, let's, let's fabricate a claim on this province as well. So we can take this from Pomerania. And that'll give us access to, you know, fabricate claims on these two provinces. If we can fabricate a claim on Bleckings, we can get to Gotland. And then from Gotland, we can get to... Gotland's actually a Swedish core. That's a bit of an issue. Actually, just from Black... Nope. From Blackings, you can't get to the Livonians. So you think Blackings is Gotland, and then... Try to attack the Livonians? And I, I don't really know how it's going to work exactly, but... I think that's probably the best game plan I have at the moment. Do we have any loans? I feel like we do. No, we don't have any loans. Fantastic. So just with Brunswick Pomerania, would anybody... We have no diplomatic descent. I don't care about Saxony. Mission is convert this province to Norse. How long is that going to take? We are, uh, September... November 1460. That is, like, that's a while from now. Is there any way I can... The 63 ducats in debt. What if I, like, do it like this? If they weren't in debt, they would join us. And I feel like that would be beneficial. Do I have, do I have, um... Like, they're allied to Sweden right now. So we can break that alliance. Do I have my claims on anything in Pomerania? I have interest in this province here. I have interest in all the Livonian order. I don't know how I'm actually ever going to get this territory, but I do have interest in this general region. England, Tyrone. This, 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 fabricate, you know, this entire area is under my general interest. Just all of, you know, all of Pomerania, sure, why not? I don't think that'll make the Swedish hate us, because it's just on our ally. So if we can wait until Sweden's not in debt, we can call them into the war. Can I just give them like 53 ducats? I mean, I'll, I know I only have 11, but... Can you just like pay off your loans? 
Like, it, it's 53 ducats. Yeah, and they... They don't want anything. I would like to attack Denmark. Hamburg would join me there. Isn't that nice? I don't even know what I'm going to do with Hamburg, honestly. Can I, can I vassalize them? Is there anybody here who would actually accept vassalization? I don't think so, because most people are in the Empire. Hostile attitude. Economic base, military base. Ugh. So do I, do I just fight them right now and not, not care about what Sweden has to say about it? I mean, I would like Sweden to be in the war, but... I don't know if it's actually going to be super, super beneficial for us. You know, no. You guys, are you at 100%? Yeah, you just go blockade, basically, Pomerania right now. There's a Pomerania Navy. So if we can declare war right now, I think... Not Oldenburg. I have no interest in Oldenburg. We're going to declare war. Take the province. Nobody's going to join, but that's fine. We're going to fight this navy, like, right away. Oh, no, they're data stocked. That's fine. So that's their galleys. Did I really fight four on, on seven? That just seems like an objectively bad idea, but what do I know? Yeah, you guys get on the transports. You don't take the general with you? Who's calling me? No, 1-800 numbers, please go away. So can I march here? No, so that means they don't have military access through me, which is good. Yes, yeah, so you go here. And then dock and free I mean I wish you had the general with you. But if we just, you know, combine our armies. I mean the seventh stack could attack my seventh stack. This would be his best chance at actually winning. Oh, no, we actually have the general in charge, so never mind. It'll be a 12 on... Okay, wait, now now, uh, now now we're in a little bit more of an issue. 12 on 13 doesn't sound super, super appealing to me, but... I'm just going to see you down to Brunswick here. It just, you know, might not be the best thing to do, but it's fine. Get a 10 stack here. I don't think they can get near us. How are they doing so much damage? Did they send their transports in, too, to fight? They absolutely did. Now they only have their transports, but I think we should still win here. Your ports are being blockaded. I don't really care too, too much. Brunswick, if you just, like, can I get to my own territory? No. This is, this actually would, so I think it'd actually be fine to stay here. And siege it down if we're going to have a nice little defensive bonus. They have a 2 1 1 and a 1 1. So, really, it doesn't really make too much of a difference with generals in charge. I mean, a 2 1 1 would technically be better, but not so, so much that it would actually make a difference. And we're already down to negative 2? Really? The thing you worse with the guy just goes right away, huh? But if we take the capital of Brunswick, they should just, like, peace out immediately. Now we're fighting the East Frisian Navy. It's fine. I mean, we can send in our transports if we want to. Just basically make sure that we win. I mean, we're fighting light ships right now. I mean, I think we are in Inland Sea, so we do get a bonus. Yeah, let's do a little blockade um, East Frisia. Really, they're not going to come fight me. R really. I feel like that would be in your best interest, Brunswick and East Frisia, to come actually attack me. Uh, Grant, I don't... Denmark's opinion, I lose legitimacy. How about, like, no? I don't care about the Danish opinion of me. I know there's some other stuff with the estates here, but... I feel like we can just kind of ignore that. I really wish the clergy gave me a, uh... Conversion bonus. That would make it way more worthwhile. So if we take the if we take Brunswick's capital, they should just surrender, right? I I feel like they'll just give up. Uh, what is this? Three thousand? Where are they going to Finn? 
No, they went to Lawland. Why would you go to Lawland? Well, Blockade is now. You can just be stuck in Lawland. Are these guys? Were they still protecting trade, even though all the trade ships were destroyed? I mean, I mean, it seems like no matter what I do, I just lose all my trade ships. So, oh, Holstein is now owned by Denmark, which is great for us because, you know, if if it's owned by Denmark, I think we can just attack them easily. So, covert fabricate claim on Holstein. We'll take that. I'm going to improve relations with you a little bit. They won't call the arms because they're still in debt. Whatever, improve relations. And other than that, is there anything else we can really, really do at the moment? How are they getting... Do they have military access? How do they have military access through Bra Brandenburg? And I guess they are rivaling me. But they're not rivaling Pomerania. Pomerania is rivaling them. Okay, okay. I see, I see. We're 7% here. But just because they have access through Brandenburg does not mean they have access through Magdeburg, Lundberg. They might. I'm, hope I'm really hoping that they don't. Can I know it's only a 7% chance, but could you actually fell. You're actually the greatest, Brunswick. I don't know what I could get from you, but I can vassalize you. You probably are not going to be too, too happy about that. We can transfer trade power, but I think that takes a relationship slot, so... How about just war reps? Okay. War reps, give me, like, actually all your money. Is there anything else I can do to you? No treaties, military access. Do you have any alliances? Yes, you should be alone in the world. No alliances for you. Can't take any provinces because we couldn't make anything cores. It's usually worth like one prestige, but that's fine. More, it's, you know, better than zero prestige. So I go back to the province where we actually have a... Um, You know, military access. Now we can go fight the 7,000 troops. No, we're still black flagged, really? Really, we're still black flagged, even though we should have military access here? That makes no sense. Cat, I'm not going to let you through the door. I mean, I know you wish I would, but I can't at the moment. Like, would Hamburg join the war? I, I think they, they weren't going to. Attitude towards enemies. Yeah, so let's go back to our own territory then. We have access to Holstein? Oh, are they giving access to Pomerania? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So, no, I can't get military access to you. How about through Lubeck? Why would they not do it for me? Hostile? Oh, are they hostile towards me? You're not. Why? Why At war with ally. Okay, well, I mean, fair enough. So, Lundberg, give me military access. So I can just march to your t- Do I have military access to Hamburg? Hamburg? I should have military access through you. One se- one, one, one second. Cats, man. Okay, um... Yes, we should have access through you now. And we should have access just straight straight through Brandenburg. How many troops of Pomerania have again? They had like ten thousand, I think, before. This is this a navy. Where where's Pomerania? No, they still have ten thousand. So that means they only have like four thousand troops or six thousand troops in their actual country here. Are they gonna fight me? No, they're not. You know, that's probably smart of them. Yeah, so they have 6,000 troops. Let's, go, let's just go kill them. Who are these guys? Catholic ze How do you have Catholic zealots? Aren't you Catholic? I don't really know why you wouldn't be. There you go. Got five war score. You are going to die, like, right away. I mean, they own one territory of mine, but it's, you know, not a big deal. 
How much do we have any individual war score against Pomerania? We don't. I still want to take this province though. So we're gonna go occupy it. Actually, if we take East Frisia, can we just demand all of Pomerania as well? I think you can. Okay, now, now let's go to let's go to East Frisia. We took the one province from this guy that we want, or truce of Friesland expired. Apparently we had a truce with Friesland. Didn't actually know that, but I do think, after this battle, that it is going to be a good time to end at the episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, remember the thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.